Okay, so I'm currently in the process of moving all of my stuff back to Cambridge after the holidays, but figured I would film a very quick December wrap up just because I'm leaving the books here. First book I read in the month of December was The Seven Days of Us by Francesca Hornack. This was following a family across seven days of like a quarantine. It didn't really, it wasn't, it was the, it wasn't like a quarantine of like Covid. It was like one of those very kind of rarer quarantines. Um, I rated this four stars. I enjoyed it. It, I included it in a vlog um i don't know whether i've uploaded it i think i have um i think it might have been in my 24 hour reading i love this i would recommend it it wasn't a five star like at times it was just meh it's good it's captivating me but also then i read the perfect christmas village by bella Os osborne i rated this three stars it just it fell flat it didn't give me the christmas magic there's someone going in no if someone was to go in reading it and not kind of fully want like the whole like Christmas magic like the Christmas spirit then I'd probably enjoy it more um I went in, into it hoping that it would get me like feeling Christmassy and it just didn't but then I read the Christmas book club and I absolutely loved this yeah I absolutely love this read it in two sittings highly highly recommend it gave me all the Christmas magic that I was wanting. I rated it five stars. I don't know whether I mentioned that. It follows four girls who each, they all each have secrets. They come out very early on and it's kind of working through those and solving them. It was just so good. I loved it. There was like friendships made along the way. There was some romance in it. I loved it. Then I read Countdown to Christmas by Joe Thomas. I rated this three and a half stars. It was good. I enjoyed it. It was like, I mentioned, again, I mentioned it in a vlog. I was just, I loved it, but also at the same time, it's a bit meh. Like it was a fast read, but I think that was more because of like the formatting of it. Like there just didn't seem like too much text on a page. Um, so the formatting of it was good. I would still recommend. It was a good festive read. Then I read Love Light Farms by BK Borison. I rated this, I think I rated it four stars in the end. It was close to being a 3.5. Um, it just, the second, like the last third of it was what dragged it up to the four stars. I loved that bit, but the first like 200 pages drags. I think it was wrapped up so soon, like the resolution just, it just got wrapped up too easily like it was kind of explained away in a few lines i read it because it was like popular and i'd seen it about it was still a good book and i will probably pick up the other two just because they won't be like i loved the whole like small town kind of part of it um so i think i'll read the other two that aren't focused around christmas and they'll probably i'll probably enjoy them more i went into this again hoping for it to give me all the christmas feels and it didn't then I read One December Day by Rachel Marks. I I wasn't a fan. Rated it three stars. Um, it follows Luke and Laura across one day over is it sixteen years? I think it's like six. No, not mm, maybe fourteen actually. Might be fourteen. It was okay. I liked the concept. It was just I didn't connect to the characters. I don't really like them both either. Like they both had their flaws. I won't be picking this one up again. Then I read Once Upon a Broken Heart. I I rated this four stars. I think at times I just wasn't, I don't know whether I was in a, it was just I wasn't in the reading mood or if it was just a slow part, but it did take me a while to read this. I started this end of November and I literally finished this a couple of hours. Was it a couple of hours? I literally finished it on the 31st of December. I've ordered the second one because it's, it's a good series. I did enjoy it. I feel like it was probably more like me and I wasn't in the reading mood. But I've heard that the second one is so much better, which is again another reason why I'm like picking it up. Because when I did 
like finally sit down and finish it it was actually easy to read it didn't feel like a chore like this felt a little bit like a chore and i know people are, would probably be thinking like you should have just dnf'd it i probably should have done but also i owned the book i'm not going to dnf a book that i own um but yeah those are all the books that i read in the month of december according to goodreads my best reading month was october um, i have 13 books i literally read apparently it was like tw it's either 27 or 28 from september to basically end of december my original goal was 25 well actually no my original goal was 100 then i turned it, turned it down to 25 in total i read 36 by the way but i hope you guys enjoyed this video sorry if it seems like quite quick and rushed it's just because it's early afternoon i need to get home um but i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in my next video bye